Fındaş mı? Kalma Beautiful baby girl. <gülüyor> 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 Yeah, so how have you been? How have you been? I've been fine. No, not you. I'm not asking you. Who is asking you? <laughs> I'm asking you. <laughs> I trust that you've been fine. Yeah, welcome yeah. to another time of um time of encounter. <laughs> <laughs> it's at that time with the Bodnaya advocates, and we are glad to have you here. I want to say, sit tight. Um, this discussion is going to be scintillating, Oppo. sizzling, Oppo. and sibalu floss. No, that 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 that's a word that is not in the English dictionary. But don't worry. <laughs> See, balufulos means something that is exciting, very very exciting, and you know beyond the norm. Hmm. So it should be sibale. <laughs> I can't even remember the word again. All right. So All right. today we want to talk about um kissing. Yeah. Hmm. If it's the uh, uh, the ibos in Nigeria, say me or no. Please stay, stay one side. Don't corrupt me. <laughs> All right. So we belong to a group on WhatsApp, and you know, a group by our father, Reverend Nami Sokuno. Um, he's the founder of Kisses and Horse Club. It's you know a club for that reaches out to both singles and married. So there's um, daily devotionals or articles to singles to married couples, and you know the link to um, the website will be in the description below. Yeah. Kissesandhogs.org do you understand? So you can visit the website, you know, engage with the articles every, every day. day. You have every something day. to get to so, take home with every day, every yeah. day, and good stuff. Good stuff. Yes. <laughs> so um, aside the website, we also have um, a group on WhatsApp, you know, where people are, you know, open to, you know, ask questions, things they are confused about, scenarios in their relationship that you know they need advice on. You know for both singles and you know couples so um about two weeks ago you know a case was brought up in in the group and it was about kissing in relationship for christians you know in now we are talking about christian um christians in courtship so the question was you know is it right um you know the boyfriend was pre pressurizing her that there's nothing wrong with kissing it's just yeah. kissing and then the group was thrown into Tomoy, <laughs> like <laughs> it was one. Quagmire. Let me speak my own. Quagmire. <laughs> so, you know, people had their um, different views and all of that. So it was as though there was no, you know, clear cut definition yeah. as it were. Because when you go through the scriptures, there is no place that they wrote, do not kiss. Do not kiss. Yeah. Thou shalt not kiss. Yeah. And that's the <laughs> and contention it, there. Yeah. That it was not really spelled out in the Bible. Yeah, so we we said okay, let's let's look into this matter and then make our presentation to you because you know you may be confused also with this in this aspect also. So we are going to be taking it from three perspectives. Now, number one is understanding what sex is. Yeah. Number two is understanding the standpoint of scriptures on the subject matter. Then number three is understanding. Understanding what now? Understanding. Understanding, understanding. Okay, so understanding, understanding. <laughs> All right, maybe not three points, maybe two actually. <laughs> All right, so the first is what is sex? Now, what is sex hmm. to you? I know we've been married, so we can give you professional counsel when it comes to sex and i'm a sexologist and she's a sexologist <laughs> <laughs> no 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 she is one so if if there, if there are issues you don't understand about your sex life you know do where to reach out to her 
So when it comes to sex, what what's your take on sex? Okay. What what is the um, process like? Okay, um, sex, um, as we, okay, let me not say as we all know, <laughs> there is a process yeah. to it. So we got to find out that sex is not just about the penetration. Sex is a whole lot of process combined in one to call sex. Yeah, that now culminates at the point of penetration. penetration. So penetration is like the end. Yeah. Do you get? But there is just like someone who is running. There is the beginning points now. The beginning point never mm. starts from sex. Yeah. A sex and is a rape. Sorry. sorry. Scenario. Let me. Let me. Let me. Something just entered my head now yeah. when she said. Just like someone that is running. For example, if you are going on a hundred meters race, hmm, the beginning of the race is as much a race as yes, the end of as the race. The end of the race. Do you understand? So yes. you, you will not say because I started here, so I'm not running yet. I'm not yes. I'm not in the race yes. yet until I get to the end. That's when yes. I know. So the beginning is as much a race yes. as the as, end. Yes, and it's as important as the end. So oh, Lord, <laughs> So sex, as we have said. In its real sense, it's a process. Yeah. It's a process. So it starts with the foreplay. Mm, yeah. It starts with foreplay. What is the foreplay now? All those things. Yeah. The so kissing, the kissing, the touching, the, touching, the smooching, yeah. the blah blah blah, and all that. All right. So just like my my wife has said, you know, sex is a process that begins from foreplay. Even some people say that sex begins with words. Yeah. Do you understand? So, when you, you keep on, you know, speaking words to each other, you are arousing each other. Oh, my sweet baby, I love you. You are the apple, blah, blah, blah. Apple, apple. in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to, to bring out my own rhymes now. It's, it, we've heard you are the sugar in my tea too much. So, you are the apple in my garden. <laughs> so, no, nobody, nobody has sex without kissing or touching is for a reason the kissing and the touching you know sets the the stage for the penetration yeah. so as you are kissing you are getting aroused as you are touching you are getting aroused and so these things lead to arousal do you understand so if it leads to arousal it should ring a bell in your head that this is not what i should be doing or is your arousal a worship to god outside marriage arousal in marriage is a worship to god but outside marriage is a defilement defilement of the marriage covenant do you understand so that's the first point understanding what sex actually is because some of us will believe that sex is just penetration no. once there's no penetration so you you, you find out two two christians mm, in courtship uh, uh, they are kissing they are kissing kiss, but once the man wants to penetrate, say, no, no, no 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 i cannot do this evil eh, against god eh, even eh. Do evil against god <laughs> <laughs> They, are, they, are, they understand so the the there is it's a process yes. now so what does the scripture actually say about sex so even jesus um when 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 he was speaking he he said something like um you have heard or you've been told that he that commits adultery or that commits fornication that it is sin say but i i i tell you that as much as you look at another woman with lust in your heart you have committed fornication with her do you understand? So, so you can Jesus, imagine that one that one looks so mild. So mild. Mm. You just looked at someone with loss. With loss. Then, this one you kiss yeah, even, you, after Hapa. looking. <laughs> you've gone beyond looking. You are now, you know, you are now kissing and, and touching. Men looking with lust is a sin. Talk more of now, you know, touching and kissing. You know, yeah. some some persons might say eh, we've already decided to get married mm. probably we've done all these things we are getting married so i don't think it's an issue one and another might be that ah and um, everybody's doing it mm. <laughs> you get everybody's doing it so it's not like there's it's not like i'm i'm the first i'm the first and i'll not be the last <laughs> two <laughs> the third point is that some people might feel that i i, I have just one partner Mm. Dig it. Like, no, it's not like I'm kissing everybody around or smooching with everybody around. Just one person. I'm faithful. Faithful to uh -huh. one. I'm faithful. And that's what the world preaches now. One one partner. Oh, but it doesn't make it the right thing. Yeah. Like we've said, it's a process. It doesn't make it the right thing. Now, a question was thrown on the group, like, if you're kissing someone, kissing someone who's your fiancé and 
eh, eh, or anybody and your pastor walks in what will you do <laughs> will you say good afternoon sir, and continue doing what you're doing but he now our pastor now turned it around and said if okay for example we are married if i'm kissing my husband you come into the room who says the sorry is you you say oh sorry excuse me you will go back because on we are on the same plane and we are doing the right thing at that point mm. but if it's someone if we were not married and <laughs> we will be the ones to apologize we are sorry sir it was the devil it was a mistake yeah. and all that and so, that's the <clears throat> reason that you know christians in courtship when you want to kiss you make sure nobody is around yes yeah, so you are hiding of course, sin thrives in secrecy. in secrecy so you are hiding to make sure that nobody sees you do you understand? But we can afford to, you know, kiss where people are seeing us because it's a legal, it's a legal something. We are, we are legal occupants of whatever. <laughs> All right. So not everybody is doing it. So yes. don't, don't, don't buy into that lie from the devil, from the pit of hell. You know we that that lie it. has destroyed a lot of relationships. Everybody yes. is doing it. Not everybody is doing it. Yes. You know, God told told Elijah, "You are not the only, only prophet left. Though I have seven thousand in different caves do you understand so like she mentioned we did not do it so let's start from us first we did not so you have a a what now you have you have one 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 couple here that did not do it and i can assure you that there are several thousands that did not it's not because what is running through our veins is what ah. it's still the same blood the Lord same up. hormones Lord the, so, the same everything and you know you have to be careful because when when you're planning for your Especially wedding, when you're planning your wedding, that's yeah. where proximity is. You're visiting people, you're talking to people together. Sometimes you run all the errands and everything, and you're coming back by nine. Of course, and your you need to tired and needs, you need you know. some. You know, as a lady <laughs> now, you need some kind of things. Do you get? But Discipline. Joseph said, "I cannot do this evil against God." Mm. That should be your standpoint. Yes. So you must. You must you must see it as evil first yes. that's where it starts from if you don't see yes. it as evil you can easily cave in yes so once you see it as an evil then you will do all all, all, all you can to run yes. oh. whenever it, so you know, know that up. from kissing it progresses to something else something else and when you're kissing what do you do do you stand it's from kissing just touching now i be kissing and touching goes together i be yes. just standing and be kissing like that no from kissing you don't know where you get take uh, around you just be you just be carried away the devil knows how to subtly mm. come in the touch everything oh everywhere is supposed to be fine you no know, who bah a lancing the a penetration and all that yeah. and you say it was a mistake no it started from somewhere so eh, 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 there's no need to uh, 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 start what you don't intend to finish. Exactly. There's no need. So the scripture, finally, the scripture says, flee all sexual um, <coughs> immorality, right? Flee. At, at some point, they even say flee every appearance of evil. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? So even this one has gone beyond appearance. appearance. It's no more appearance of evil. It's evil. It's not evil. It's evil. It's evil. It's, uh, but the scripture is not saying flee. Even what looks like evil, run away from it. Don't be caught um, on the fence. Ah, is yeah. this? Should I? Um, you know what? What? What actually? You know, makes uh, us sin is because we are trying to find out what are the boundaries. Instead of looking for boundaries, stay far from the boundary. Where yeah. is too far? That's what we keep asking. What is far? What is too far? Instead of asking what is too far, please stay inside. Where? 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 Don't even reach the 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 um the line to even think of crossing it do you understand so we have seen that, that the presence of sex includes kissing so we have seen that the scripture says flee all sexual immorality he did not say flee pen- penetration it says flee sexual immorality whatever is sexual kissing is sexual it around that's why it arouses do you understand so you may say oh the, even the bible says greet one another with um a, a holy kiss, kiss. It's not that kind of kissing. It's not the one that you lick your lips. It's peck. That, and that's a Jewish culture. You know, you know, you peck, holy peck. You know, there's nothing holy, like our pastor said, there's nothing holy about the Nigerian kiss. <laughs> it's not holy. Holy kisses does not arouse, but, you know, the one you are doing arouses you, so it's not holy. So the, 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 the one the Bible is referring to is a greeting, a Jewish cultural greeting where you just peck on the cheek, a peck. 
and then that is it so so that's it from here um i believe you gained something just let us know in your in the comment section what do you think about this discourse what are the points that you have do you think it's right do you think it's not right do you are you are you are you saying that you know you know um christians should be able to since they are not having the full package yeah. let them just you and know have, still get married let them rehearse get, uh, <laughs> let them rehearse mm, how they will do it but no there's that's no need for them so let's and let's know what you think finally from my end hello you're not missing out on anything so if you're in a relationship and you are not indulging in all those things you are not missing out on anything by the time you get married hello you will say it's kiss you will kiss kiss you will like kiss kiss kiss, kiss anything you want to do <laughs> you will do all you want to do do you understand so you're not missing out on anything let nobody tell you that ah are you serious or by the time you now get married and some challenges come in that kind of area say ah what did you do you did not you did not know you did not miss out on anything and you are not doing the wrong thing yeah. remember the bed should be undefiled totally undefiled. totally undefiled kisses should not be found on it smooching should not be found on it totally undefiled and if you've made that mistake you can you know god is always available to you know to forgive so you know you can come to a place of repentance and cry out to god and he will have mercy on you and wash you clean wash you clean wash you clean and give you a fresh start and talk to someone too about it yeah so that you can put boundaries also yeah all right, all right. so we love you we love you one love Sorry, two loves. They're blocking my face. Sorry. They're blocking my face. Sorry. Peace out.